Hi everyone, it's MJ the Fellow Actuary and in this video I want to talk about mortality risk and crypto. Now actuaries were no strangers to mortality risk, in fact it was the very first one that we dealt with back in the 1700s where we had to calculate how much money do we need to set aside in order to take care of the children and dependents when a breadwinner dies. And that's where the whole life insurance industry kind of came forth from. Now, the thing is, we might have managed mortality risk when it comes to dependence, but death is still present and it is something that is going to be haunting the crypto world. Of course, crypto is still fairly new, so it's something that's not on everybody's horizon. But there have been instances where people are holding significant amounts of crypto and then they pass away. And well, they're the only ones who have access to these crypto tokens and what kind of happens in the situation. Now, I think exchanges have a way to, to get around this in the sense that I think some of them, if you had to read those terms and conditions, which let's admit very few of us actually do, um, but I'm sure some of them will have terms that say that if you do not access your account within five years, it's seen that you have abandoned your tokens and that they can then claim it. And I think if they don't have a term like this, they're being silly because otherwise they're going to have a mountain of crypto that they legally cannot touch because it belongs to somebody else. So they'll need that term and condition so that if people do die and nobody claims the crypto, that money then goes to the exchange. So that's how exchanges can deal with mortality risk of their clients. But how can us as individuals deal with this mortality risk? Now, you could go and provide a whole set of instructions to a loved one and say, hey, if anything happens to me, this is how you access my crypto. The problem with that is sometimes, let's say, you know, divorce is coming up or, or some family issues, that loved one could say, hmm, let me just go in and reach into this crypto wallet while you're still alive. So while mitigating for the death risk, you do introduce a significant counterparty risk. So, and that's always the big thing with risk management is if you deal with one risk, make sure you're not introducing another. So I kind of thought of this idea and gosh, you know, someone's probably already thought of it as well. So I do apologize if there's something out there that is very, very similar. But I was thinking, imagine if they created a crypto wallet that had two keys. So the first key, it's your primary key. And this works like, you know, all the other crypto wallet keys work that you can use it. You can access your crypto. You can spend your crypto, transfer it, do what you want. If the second key tries to unlock it, it's not going to work unless a significant period of time has occurred, which the primary setter can set or the primary key holder can set. So what this means is I can say, look, there's two keys to access my wallet. The primary key, which is the one that I use, the one I keep secret, and I'm going to take this knowledge to the grave. But then there is the secondary key that can only unlock my wallet if a significant time duration has occurred. And I could maybe set it at six months, two years, five years. Okay, 10 years would probably be a bit excessive, but you can set this delay so that the secondary key can access your wallet only if the account has been inactive for a certain duration. So it's kind of like a bit of a time lock. And what will then happen in this case is that if you were to pass away, somebody else can access your crypto, but while you're alive, while you're active, they cannot touch the money that you have in that account. So anyway, that was just me thinking about how to potentially deal with mortality risk and crypto. Um, I'm keen to hear your guys' ideas, so let me know down in the comment section below what you think, not only of this idea, but if you have any other ideas on how to get around this issue. As always, thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you guys soon for another video. Cheers.